Hi guys, how you doing? So milestone four uh, already. Wow. Okay. So in milestone four, we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of really cool things. We're gonna learn how to use the typographic tools in Photoshop and how to format and clip some images to to your type. It's really cool. It's a great lesson. I think you guys are gonna love it. And then we're also gonna continue on our caricature project by adding. We're learning how to drop add a drop shadow. Um, I'm sorry. Not a drop shadow, a cast shadow. Um, a cast shadow is different than a drop shadow because a cast shadow kind of falls where the light would hit the, the um, caricature. And a drop shadow just kind of creates some separation from the background page. So um, be sure, well, let me show you. <clears throat> let me show you around a little bit here. So if we go to, <clears throat> excuse me, if we go to Milestone 4 Task 1 Instructions, I want to show you something really quick here. It's really important. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, typographic Design Overview. Uh, here's your task files right here. And this, for those of you who are working ahead, this task files link is broken right now. I've added a ticket to tech support to have that fixed. That should be fixed by the time you receive this video. If not, I'll be sure to supply those uh, lesson um, task files for you. But this should be, by the time you watch this video, this should be fixed. Okay, I want to also bring your attention to this. Um, once you've finished a lesson, you've got a couple of additional um, changes to make the document. Add another phrase if you're choosing somewhere in the composition. It'll apply a layer style or a warp defect um, to the phrase to enhance the overall design. And then place your, your name somewhere, <clears throat> excuse me, and apply a clipping mask of an image to, um, of your choice to your name. That's the same technique that you use to do the headline, so that should be pretty easy. Again, don't forget these video tutorials, guys. They're really, really super important. And these just kind of go through the textbook. So make sure you go through the textbook. And I, you know, what I like to do is I like to go through the textbook first and then go to the videos just to kind of back up what you've learned in, from the textbook. But go through step by step with the textbook. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, this is what it's talking about are the added things. It's this is that added, that, that, that added um, text and then your name. Okay, so that, that's what that is. And you can see additional phrase with a text wrap and um, added your name and then used a, 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 an image as a clipping mask. <clears throat> so, okay, um, let's get out of that. Okay, and I want to see, I want you to see something here. Don't forget when you submit, don't flatten it. Guys, I need to see layers. In other words, I need to see all your layers right here. It's really important. If you flatten it, I won't be able to see the technique and you won't get credit for the, the assignment. So please don't flatten unflattened um, images only for Milestone 4 Task 1. Let's go to Milestone 4 Task 2, see what we have in store there. Okay, this is what I was talking about, that cast shadow. Big difference between a drop shadow and a cast shadow. And one of the most important things here is learning how to create a composite layer or a, <clears throat> let me show you where that is in the video. More easily see the next step. Okay, I have the marching ants and I have the new layer highlighted. Now I need to fill the selection. Hang on one sec. Okay, as I was saying, to do the drop, the cast shadow, you have to create a, a composite layer and that's a, it, what it, that is, is that's creating a flattened layer of all of these layers, but it's not flattening the file. You still have your file intact, and um, it creates a composite layer at the very top of the layer order. And we can see that right here. Although about, it doesn't really matter. But the, the keyboard there's the option. Like there's shift, the, the uh, commands option, right there. Command control, Gives you the Mac and the PC. And the e. But uh, let me demonstrate that real quick. At the same time, and then tap the E key. So I'm going to go into Photoshop and let me just open this file right here. This is Nicole's file. This is, thank you, Nicole. I'm, I should have asked permission, but I, I don't think you'll mind. So anyways, what you want to do is you want to get rid of, first of all, I'm going to unlock all the layers. And then what you want to do is you want to get rid of any layers that aren't the, the creature layer. And by that, I mean the text layer right there. We'll turn that off and we can turn that background layer off. No, we don't have to. But at any rate, what you're going to do is just come to any layer and you're just going to say 
uh, shift option command and the letter E. And you see what that does? That creates this top layer here as a composite layer. And that's the layer you'll use to create the shadow. Okay. Thank you, Nicole. We'll get rid of that. We don't have to save that. But that's what you do. It's really super easy. And then just follow the rest of that stuff to figure out the, the drop shadow. And then further on along in this video, you can see um, uh, how to, you know, there's different ways to create uh, backgrounds. And I'm going to show you some some techniques, but um, but I, I'm going to show you. I, I'm going to place a file in the um, in the learner objective. Uh, the alert here. Let me show you where. And if you guys haven't been checking this, please do. It's super important. But right over here, the learner course resources. I put all sorts of stuff in here. Um, how to create multi-page PDF from Acrobat. Here's your milestone three tips and tricks. Examples of successful character design. Milestone two tips for success. So definitely be, make sure that you're looking at those. But for week four, I will put a um, um, I'll put some techniques in there for how to create backgrounds and some different resources there. Okay. And so again, I just want to make sure that you you're checking out the uh, complete overview for the task instructions. Make sure you check out the submission specifications, steps for success, and you should be fine. Now, once again, guys, um, once you submit your milestone for task one and task two, I'll give you feedback. So make sure you employ the recommendations from my feedback into your final submission. Okay. All right, guys. Great job. Everyone's doing fantastic. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.